you're showing something interesting here. What is this? So this is called, uh, this is a Stratus Explorer. The company is called Ultra Haptics. And what they're doing is they're using ultrasound to create haptic feedback in mid-air. I'm uh, feeling haptics in the air. Without touching the, uh, the sensor. So they're using... My hand is vibrating. So they're actually using a leap motion controller there, which is tracking your hand position. Okay. And they're using that to position the feedback so it's always on the, the palm of the hand. And they, they move that around to create the illusion of uh, 3D shapes uh, in, just in, in, in space. So we have this, this demo here, which is a force field. This could be used for a holographic uh, touch, right? Yeah, exactly. Maybe if you have a hologram and you want to be able to feel what you're touching. So if you have like VR or AR, so you get some kind of sense that you're, you're touching an object or, or you're interacting with it. Or even, even just, um, just in free space. So if, you, if you're controlling uh, an object when you're actually touching the screen to give you some idea of whether you've uh, successfully done something or not. And it has some, just some cool colors for no reason, right? It's just colors. I think those are uh, the debug LEDs. They are to tell you. They are to tell you something useful, but um, not to me. And uh, there's uh, ARM Cortex A and M in there. So there's uh, an M in the the tracker here. Uh, there's an M which handles the the USB traffic, and there's a Cortex A which is uh, controlling the uh, the ultrasound array. I can feel the ball up up here. How how high does it work? So there's there's the limit is actually how far away you can track the hand. And the, this, the ultrasound itself, you can get up to, to nearly a metre, uh, but the, the, in this case the leap motion uh, loses a little bit of accuracy once you go above maybe 30 or 40 centimetres, and if it's not exactly on the hand, you don't feel the feedback, so that's could, really the limit. Could you just crank up the haptics so you I can, can feel like a big shake? It's not, it's not the haptics that you need to uh, crank up. What you need to do is, is use some other uh, tracking technology, have an array of leap motion or, or maybe a, an... Array of these? Yeah, or, or an Intel wheel sensor or something like that to, uh, Ultra to find Ultrasonic. Is, yep. is it going to harm my hand? It, it really shouldn't, I, as far as I know. <laughs> right. I'm I afraid hope to not, put my camera I, over it. Because I'm wondering what kind of ultrasonic stuff is going to do well, to my actually, image stabilizer. If your if your if your hands not there, like right now, there is no ultrasonic. So if you but my camera is going to think it's a strange hand. Only if it recognizes it as a hand. It's only drawing the feedback when when the hand intersects the model there. So if a cat comes in, then nothing's going to happen. It shouldn't happen. Nothing should happen. My cat's not going to. Unless gonna... your cat has a really big hand. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is there a price for this? Do you know? So th this developer kit uh, costs around seven thousand. Uh, but the ultra haptics they actually make, uh, they don't sell this as a device. What they're doing is they provide the hardware to other people so that they can build the ultra haptics technology into their uh, their applications. Is it coming? This is available. This there? is available right now. Just I couldn't, the dev kit only. I, I couldn't tell you where it has been. I think it's been used in some some demos around CES and around Vegas. I couldn't tell you where it's actually uh, been. There's going to be something about how many kind of things are going on here. There's lots of. Uh, is directional or just going straight up? I it guess. has. It has. There's a cone that comes out about 30 degrees, um, and as long as you're within that that cone, then you you can get the, the haptic effect. At the